Italian wine travel with Stevie Kim. Welcome back, my name is Stevie Kim and we're still on the A Montefalco. Today is day number two and we're kicking off with Paolo Baltoloni. And the name of the winery is Le Cimate. Why is it called Le Cimate? Le Cimate means the top of the hill. I received this appellation by the priest because my grandfather bought this land by the Vatican City. I project the winery on the glass on the vineyard. My grandfather planted uh, in 92, 11 hectares. I immediately later planted another 12 hectares. I would like to separate each type of grapes in a special tank, one down and one up, so I can separate the liquid. Ah, Montefalco, what does it mean to you? A Montefalco means welcome in a great village with a great wines, not only red, but also white and dessert wine. Cheers with the Sagrantino Passito. Okay, cheers. We arrived uh, in Montefalco in uh, 1999 and we decided to move our first step out of Sorgiano, not in some other region, but in Umbria, because this is the territory we know under a soil point of view, under a climate point of view, under a human point of view, and uh, the wine has to be the expression of the territory it comes from. So our territory is Umbria. For us, the first years have been a little bit challenging to better understand the Sagrantino, but uh, we learned step by step that uh, this uh, wild horse has to be tamed yes. first uh, in the vineyard and then in the winery. Because for me, according to what is uh, a little bit a leitmotif of our family wine production, is the elegance. And even from Sagrantino, you can get wonderfully elegant wine. A Montefalco. What does A mean to you, Chiara Lungarotti? A like a, a glass of Montefalco. And to toast with a glass of Montefalco to this wonderful land. Great. Thank you very much. Grazie. Would you like to tell us anything particular about your vineyard or your... Uh, we are working just with the um, green, more that is possible, software. Is this organic farming? Yeah. Is it certified yeah, or...? Yeah. As you can see, we have a lot, lot of grass that uh, change uh, in different uh, area and different uh, kind of soil. Uh, so it's a good help for balance the difference in the, in the vineyard. Also here we, we use bird box or balance the quantity of the insects. We put this uh, bird box uh, many years ago for help uh, the, our natural predator to stay in our farm. In this case, it's a box for a falcon. Falcon? It's, uh, Monte Falco? Uh, sure. <laughs> so what does A mean for you? Really many things, there is a lot of uh, Thing in this area, a lot of wine, a lot of culture, and uh, so they can represent. I think the most important for us is amore. Amore, that's amore with Davis from Romanelli. Why did you need such a big, big aging room? All the empty space you see here in the center, it's not this. This is the place where the wine age for at least three years. And you have to be into a, a living room to rest properly. And this is a living room for the wine. And as you can see, Henny Harch uh, collect the story of our wines. So it's a family library. 
So there is the bottle of all my bottles, but in addition, there is the bottle of my grandpa and some bottle of my great grandpa. Something that is not only for me, it's something also for the next generation. You asked me yesterday, actually, what does A represent for me? So you gave me this A with amicizia. In English, it means friendship. In Italian, it's amicizia. Cheers. Love you. And that's a wrap.